no reason, he constantly threatens to destroy us all. I get it, but he really is the best we've got. Other stars will also become red dwarfs one day, or go supernova. And don't get me started on supernovas. Well, yeah, yeah, but our sun can't be the best option, right? Okay, hypothetically, if we were to find a new star, the closest one is 4.35 light years away. We'd all freeze up on that trip, especially you. Plus, where'd we get the momentum? <laughs> have better chances of building a new sun right here. Building a new sun, huh? This can't end well. Nobody else does, for what I know. <laughs> so? Does he have an ocean, huh? Under his surface. And not just any ocean, liquid water. So it's possible he could sustain life- Stop! Don't say it! He's just a moon, okay? We're nothing alike. Oh, come on, don't be rude. No! Moons should know their place. Keep saying silly things like this and you'll make them think they can become planets like us. Fine, until tomorrow then. You might as well stay home. There's no way you're beating me. Hey Earth, what are you doing? What are you talking about? This is the who's the better friends of the Earth competition. Did you not listen? Well, I did, but why are you doing that? They just had a little argument. Well, apparently, little arguments are super important now. When I had a little argument with Titan, the moon and Mars didn't want to hang out with me anymore. So, is this your elaborate plan to get his friendship back? Look, best case scenario, Venus and Mars fight amongst themselves to be my friend. And worst case scenario, you lose all of your friends. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. You'll see, tomorrow we'll end this contest and the best planet will have the honor to be my best friend. Just you wait. All right, you do you, Earth. And that's all that matters. A good friend would forgive absolutely everything you do to him, no matter how insecure and cruel. I... insecure and cruel? Well, I wouldn't say- Of course you were. We tried being honest with you and you doubled down on your flaws until we couldn't take it anymore. But that's just what best friends do, right? Okay, this is getting weird. But you can't be okay with this, right? Well, why wouldn't we be, pal? Cause... Because you're my friends. Because you tell me when I screw up. Because you don't let me get away with everything. Because you're honest. Who needs honesty? You just want everyone to come back to you and tell you that it's all good, right? What? No, I... Is that's how it usually goes, isn't it? Your Earthlings are so important. Everybody has to respect that, right? It doesn't even matter that you treat everyone around you like garbage. They should be sorry. They should apologize to you. Hey, stop it. Well, I didn't treat anyone like garbage. Sure, I made mistakes, but... Well, what about me? The one who keeps catching asteroids for you? Who keeps your axis in check for your Earthlings? That isn't... I deal with your fix. I deal with your Earthlings on my surface. I help you when you get in trouble. I always come back, and you... Stop it! You know that I appreciate you for... Being just a moon? That's what you said, Earth. That we can't be anything else. Well, you know what? I had enough of you, and I'm never coming back! Uh, goodbye party thingy? No! It's... Oh, no! What? What? The Earth is... heading to the sun. Everyone will be happier this way. <laughs>